I was trying to figure out where a homestead was. It looks like it's like in the Florida, Miami area. The people that you guys see on my screen, look, I agree with the person I saw type this in, in the uh, comment section on uh, Facebook. And they said, if you don't want to have kids, then don't have them. But why are these children ending up like this? You can't explain it. You can't excuse it. It just needs to be punished. But the two fools that you guys see on my screen, let me tell y'all what they did to that angel right there. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. And I'm getting this story from NBCMiami.com. So definitely in the Miami area. Thank you for the article. This homestead couple, let me see if I can get their face back up on the screen. Like they look like a happy family. Let me see if I can get that picture back up there. Not that one, this one. I cannot tell you, I see countless pictures, moms and boyfriends making babies, these pictures, they look happy, like a happy family, and you just hope that it has that fairy tale ending where a child grows up, becomes something great, and then eventually they run off in life and start their own family and their career. This baby's life will never see that. This couple was arrested on murder charges. After their infant daughter, who had been allegedly brutally abused, died at a hospital. I want y'all to hear how badly this little baby was abused. Arnell Arnelia Floyd, Nathan and Nathan Richard Allen, both who are 24 years of age, were arrested Wednesday on charges of first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse, Miami-Dade jail records show. So y'all understand what they mean with first degree murder, right? Everybody understand that? You said this is a, uh, what part of Florida is that? Miami-Dade and Homestead? I'm not sure. First degree murder is intent. It's intentional and that carries in the United States of America a life sentence and in some states it could carry the death penalty. That's about as serious as it gets. According to an arrest report on Sunday, officers responded to Baptist Health Homestead Hospital Pediatric Emergency Room for a report of a dead infant. The six-month-old identified by police as Nelani 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 Adaley Allen. Nelani Allen had been brought to an emergency room by the parents in cardiac arrest did not have a pulse and was unresponsive. Y'all look at this beautiful, innocent little baby. She literally looks like, like a little doll. Let me see if I can go back. I don't know how two ugly people can produce such a beautiful angel. Like she literally looks like a baby doll. An innocent little angel. I don't understand how you can accept a blessing from God because y'all know in the black community that we all say that children are a blessing from God, right? I don't understand how you can accept this blessing from God. Look into this angel's eyes. Look at her big, beautiful brown eyes. And cause her death. You didn't want to do right by her. Why? I don't understand it. Despite life-saving efforts, the infant was pronounced dead at the hospital. An x-ray revealed that the infant, and this is no accident, and this is why I think they need a life sentence in prison, both of them. An x-ray revealed that the infant had several fractured ribs in different stages of healing. So that's over time, right? Right? Not all at once. And multiple bruises throughout her torso consistent with child neglect and or child abuse. Both parents were interviewed by Miami-Dade police homicide detectives 
and both said that the infant had not suffered any injuries from a fall or an impact. Notate that. Floyd said that the infant had been in good health and did not have any medical history and denied knowing any reason why the infant may have died. He said the night before she placed, and I want y'all to hear this story because this sounds like all the stories of murdered infants that I've ever heard. Listen at this. She said the night before she placed the infant on the bed where she co-sleeps with the infant and Alan and woke up in the morning and left home with the infant and Alan still sleeping. Floyd said later that morning, she started getting messages from Alan about the infant's well-being, and when she returned home, Alan was holding their unresponsive daughter. Alan told investigators he fed the girl some milk and left the victim on the bed while she went downstairs to get to the kitchen and started cleaning dishes. You say they look like brothers? Oh my God, y'all are so wrong for that. But... They kind of do look like brothers. Like, I don't know if y'all remember that movie. Uh, oh, God, I forget his name. Uh, Step Brothers. Y'all know that movie. Tell me that that doesn't look like that Step Brothers picture. I don't want to bring it up. I don't want to download it and put it on the screen. Not trying to be silly. But that's what that picture kind of reminds me of. Step Brothers, the movie. Listen to how much this story does not make any sense. They put the infant down to sleep where they co-sleep in the bed with this little bitty baby, which already is a crime in itself. Woke up the next morning and left home and left the infant and Alan sleeping in the bed. Didn't check on the kid. I, I thought most mothers would, but nonetheless. Floyd said later that morning, she started getting messages from Alan about the infant's well-being. That's a red flag. And when she returned home, Alan was holding their unresponsive daughter. He was holding their unresponsive daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, NBCMiami.com has the article. Please look it up and understand that you, I'm not making up any of this. What does unresponsive mean? Let me see if I can look that up. What does unresponsive mean? Uh, Here's the definition of trial. That's not what I was looking for. That's not what I was looking for. Unresponsive. Unresponsive, not reacting or responding to an action, question, or suggestion. Unresponsive in medical terms. Stupor is an excessively deep state of unresponsiveness. People can be, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. A coma is a state of complete unresponsiveness except for certain auto, uh, automatic reflexes. People cannot, why do they have that word in there? Look, okay. We understand what unresponsive means. So after finding out that this child was unresponsive, Allen told investigators he fed the girl some milk. Um, I might not be the brightest crayon in the book, but how would you feed an unresponsive child? Can you be that level of stupid? I didn't like there must be levels of stupid and this level of stupid has got to be lower than a bow legged caterpillar. If y'all understand what I'm talking about, that makes no sense. He fed an unresponsive girl some milk and left the victim on the bed while he went downstairs and started cleaning dishes. What? He returned an hour later and found the infant lethargic. That's according to what I'm reading. An hour later, didn't call 911. Child was unresponsive. Child was lethargic. Alice said the infant was in good health, but would often cry for long periods of time. 
A search warrant at the house found it to be in disarray with multiple holes in the wall the size of a fist. So they're saying it looked like somebody was punching through a wall. As well as dents in the refrigerator door, which appeared to be shaped in the size of a fist. So they're trying to say violence, domestic violence. An autopsy of the infant found numerous fresh contusions, internal bleeding, large lacerations to internal organs, and blunt force injuries throughout the torso, which means that they beat this baby to death. The infant's manner of death was classified as a homicide, rightfully so. There have been numerous reports of domestic violence at the home that were corroborated by neighbors who said that they were violent, who said that they were uh, were violent and involved items uh, or people being thrown into walls. Lord have mercy. Wow. It was also discovered that the victim's last visit to the pediatrician had been two days earlier on May the 10th. While the infant was underweight, there were no signs of bruising or broken bones. Floyd and Allen were arrested and booked into jail. They appeared in court on Thursday where the judge ordered them to have no bail, no bond. Let me give you guys the fair usage before I start using cuss words that could get me flagged down. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I encourage you guys, go back and read that article that I just read, and I want y'all to look at it and read and see that that's exactly what it says. I didn't misread it or anything. Y'all do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let's get into this. Disturbing new details revealed about a couple in their 20s accused of murdering their baby. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live at Homestead tonight with more on the charges the two now face. Roy. Nicole, the details of this one just very upsetting. In the arrest report that we were able to receive, the details describe the injuries that child sustained, injuries that include broken bones, cuts and bruises and internal bleeding and all at the hands allegedly of the child's parents. A touching tribute to six-month-old Nalani Allen posted by her mother to Facebook with a caption that read in part, On May 12, 2024, my first Mother's Day, my child passed away. Nalani was my world. Good afternoon, Ms. Floyd. You were arrested for one count of first-degree murder slash aggravated child abuse. But it's that mother, identified by Miami-Dade police as 24-year-old Arnell Floyd, along with the child's father, Nathan Richard, in court this week, now charged with the infant's death. So you were arrested for one count of first-degree murder slash aggravated child abuse? It's very sad to see a little child like that go like that. Neighbors I spoke with who live in the Villa Portofino community off Northeast A Street and 21st Place described hearing the news and the disturbing details that led to Nalani's death. The two seen here with their daughter in these pictures were arrested after bringing the child to Homestead Hospital where doctors determined the baby had no pulse and severe signs of child abuse. Nalani was pronounced dead an hour after her arrival. I didn't know that. My cousin just told me I was like, that is crazy. If you didn't want to, if you didn't want kids, why have kids? During a search warrant at their home, police reported the house in disarray as well as multiple holes in the walls the size of a fist as well as dents in the refrigerator door which appear to be shaped in the size of a fist. And investigators say that a neighbor also reported several instances of domestic violence. Well, today I did get a chance to speak to the next door neighbor of that couple who spoke with me through a closed door but did say those details would surface in court and had no further comment. As for the suspects, they do remain behind bars, now being held with no bond. For now, here at home. The prime alert tonight, a mother and father facing a judge accused of killing their baby girl. Doctors say the disturbing details. Samir. And this discovery comes after the parents told investigators their daughter was in good health and had no injuries. However, did do excuse me, doctors discovering quite a different case. These two homestead parents, Nathan Allen and Arnell Floyd, facing a judge Thursday. Good afternoon, Ms. Floyd. You were arrested for one count of 
first degree murder slash aggravated child abuse. Good afternoon, sir. You were arrested for one count of first degree murder slash aggravated child abuse. Police arresting the pair after doctors pronounced their daughter, Nalani, dead after being brought to Homestead Hospital. There, doctors say an x-ray revealed several fractured ribs in different stages of healing and multiple bruises. Days later, on Tuesday, an autopsy revealed fresh contusions, internal bleeding, large laceration to internal organs, and blunt force injuries throughout the victim's torso. Nalani's death ultimately ruled a homicide. During a search warrant here at their Northeast 21st Avenue home, police say the house was found in disarray as well as multiple holes in the walls, the size of a fist as well as dents in the refrigerator door, which appear to be shaped in the size of a fist. Police adding their address has had numerous reports of domestic violence. Neighbors describe the disputes as violent with items and or persons being thrown into walls around the residence. And both parents remain behind bars with no. This morning, parents behind. The child had no prior injuries, no issues, but doctors found uh, that after an examination, there was a very different story behind all of this. Nathan Allen and Arnell Floyd, parents from Homestead, facing a judge Thursday. Good afternoon, Ms. Floyd. You were arrested for one count of first degree murder slash aggravated child abuse. The two arrested after doctors pronounced their daughter Nalani dead after being brought to Homestead Hospital. The doctors say an x-ray revealing several fractured ribs in different stages of healing and multiple bruises days later on Tuesday, an autopsy revealed fresh contusions, internal bleeding, large lacerations to internal organs and blunt force injuries throughout the victim's torso. There, Nalani's death ruled a homicide. During a search warrant at their home, police saying the house was in disarray, as well as multiple holes in the walls the size of a fist, as well as dents in the refrigerator door, which appear to be shaped in the size of a fist. Police adding their address on Northeast 21st Avenue has had numerous reports of domestic violence. Neighbors described the disputes as violent, with items and or persons being thrown into the walls around the residence. So still so many questions as to what happened here, what unfolded that led to this baby girl's death. Uh, both these parents now facing murder charges and they're being held without bond. We're live in West Miami-Dade. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News. Turning now off the top to breaking news, two South Florida parents in jail tonight. Police say they killed their six-month-old baby, 24-year-old. It does kind of look like she has a mustache, like... They do look related, though, like, <laughs> we're brothers, we're happy, and we're singing, and we're colored, da -da -da -da. give me a high five. <laughs> they do look like brothers, though, on some real stuff. That's crazy. Arnell Floyd and 24-year-old Nathan Richard Allen are facing murder and child abuse charges. And a judge has denied them bond. Police say the pair brought their child to the hospital on Sunday. According to investigators, the baby did not have a pulse and had several signs of child abuse, including fractured ribs and bruises. The parents reportedly told police the child had never fallen and had no idea why the baby died. Investigators were called to their home in Homestead and reported finding several fist-sized holes and dents in the walls and kitchen fridge. Police said there were also numerous reports of domestic violence at that home. Yo, I, look, it could be something in the water, very much so. Ain't no telling, man. With all that oil they had spilling in the water, maybe I shouldn't say that on live. But nonetheless, look, beautiful, beautiful little angel. And I cannot understand. Like, I don't know if it's both of their behavior. And I would just have to assume since they're both facing the same charges that, you know, they both are just flawed human beings. They didn't understand the value of a child and then lied. I mean, y'all sat there and heard me read that ridiculous story. Like, did they think somebody was, like, did they write it down? Did they have a script? Did they just make it up on the fly? Like, oh, yeah, let me tell this stupid ass story and see if they'll buy that and see if I can get off on a murder charge by this most ridiculous story, right? I don't know. But all I know, Nalani Allen, I can't say her middle name properly. But I do want to put some respect on her name. Such a beautiful little angel. And this baby needed 
just different parents, better parents, any other parents would have allowed this baby to grow up and become something great. So R.I.P. Princess. To these two fools, whatever the harshest penalty you can give them under law, make it happen, make it stick, make an example out of them, okay? Thank you guys so much for listening to this story. Keep the rest of the family members in your prayers. And continue to keep advocating for these babies and please give them a voice, okay? Thank you.